Hey friends, it's Len here at 1A Auto. Today I'm working on a 2007 Hyundai Elantra. I'm gonna show you how to remove this grill right here. It can be a very simple job. I wanna be the guy that shows you how to do it. If you need any parts, you can always check us out at 1AAuto.com. Thanks. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take out this bolt right here. There should be one right there. It's, uh, you know, broken, that happens. Anyway, we're gonna use a 10 millimeter on this particular application. Turn it to the left, counterclockwise so we can remove it. There it is. Super long for no apparent reason. Put that aside. Grab this. Put this unit aside. Cool. All right, so now we can see we've got a couple little push clips here. They just kind of go along over this way and everything. So all we're gonna do, I'm gonna use two tools. I've got a Phillips head. I'm gonna use it, turn to the left. This is gonna start lifting this up for me. Once it gets up enough, I can get my screwdriver under there. And then I should be able to just pop it right up. Nothing ever works on video. Come on. There it is. So when this is pushed in, it spreads all those legs and uh, holds it in, okay? So I'll just remove all these. Here we are, last one. Just kind of give this a little wiggle, see if we can get it to move around. Seems like it's coming off pretty well. Perfect. Let's bring the vehicle up a little bit and we'll start taking apart anything that might be coming from the wheel well, just in case there's any holding it in there. And then along the bottom, and we should be able to pop this puppy right off. So right here, there's a small bolt that comes through this and then up into the fender, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that. There it is. I'm gonna do the same on the other side of the vehicle, and then we'll continue bringing the vehicle up. Okay, so up in here, we have our fog lamp assemblies, right? If you wanted to take this wiring harness off of it, all you're gonna do is there's a little squeeze tab right here. There's one located right on the other side. You're just gonna grab them, squeeze them, give it a little tug, pull it down. I'm gonna give that a try. Let's see. Here we are. We'll take a look at the uh, the harness here, make sure there's no funny colors, no uh, rust or rainbow colors, everything looks pretty great. We'll set this aside. We'll go over and do the same thing to the other side of the vehicle. See if I can get in. Give those a squeeze, hopefully. Pull it down. Take a peek. Looks pretty clean. That looks great to me. Now we'll move along. So I'm just gonna pull out the clips that are uh, down along the bottom here. Your vehicle may have them going all the way around. This one's missing a whole bunch, so it is what it is. But basically, you just wanna make sure that you have um, anything that's holding your bumper cover to anything else, like the wheel well. You got another clip right here, so I'll grab this one. You wanna make sure you have all those out, okay? So if yours has two, take out two. If yours has 20 of them holding it together, well, sorry for you, but. We'll keep moving here. All right, I'll put this last one aside. We'll bring the vehicle back down and we'll start going from the top. Start taking this puppy off. Okay, so we've got all the bumper cover taken apart as much as we can. Now it's time to just uh, grip it and give it a little tug. Here we go. Seems like it's sticking anywhere. Just try to lift it. And there we are. Now we've removed our bumper cover. Okay, so we've got some Phillips head screws here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna remove these. I'm just gonna use a Phillips head. this. Now we get that off. Perfect. Yeah. 
So now I'm gonna take this, I'm just gonna come in from the back side here. I'm gonna try to slide it in. Just slides right in right here. Same thing on this side. Here we are. Now we're gonna take our screws. We're gonna get all those in. I'm not gonna tighten any of them down until I'm fully, uh, I got all of them started. the last one so I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten this in and turn this down Put this on here just screwing into plastic here so we don't need to do anything too crazy we'll do all six of these Not a lefty perfect let's mount this bumper up so here we go. Let's get our bumper cover up close to the car. We're gonna be careful for any paint. We don't wanna scratch up any paint. Okay, I get it so it's sitting up here. I'm just gonna come along the side. There's a little lip right along the bumper cover. It needs to go up in here, okay? So whatever you gotta do to make it happen, I just grab into where the grill is, give it a little tug, wiggle it. There we are. Give it a little bonk, bonk, bonk. Screw that in. Same thing on the other side. Screw this side in. Cool. All right, let's grab some screws and some push pins. We'll move along. We've got our little push clips. Gonna start them in here. You just push in the center, okay? Do the same for all these. Nice. All right. So now let's reinstall this right here. We we'll get a little air duct hole here. One there. Got a little air duct there and one there. So we'll just line those two up. Start with the rearward facing one first, slide it in and grab the bottom one. Now we'll just line this up with the holes right here. We'll start this right in. Using a 10 millimeter, tighten it up. It's just rubber there, so we don't need to go too much tighter than that. This one's already broken. So let's go ahead and move underneath and we'll move along. We've got our little screw. It's gonna go right up in the corner of this bumper, right under there, okay? Let's take it, lined up the hole here. Might have to wiggle it around. There it is. Let's see if I can get this on there. Perfect. That pressed in there. We'll do the same to the other side of the bumper and we'll bring it up and continue on the bottom. We've got our wiring harness for our fog lamp. You'll notice it's got a little notch out of it. In the fog lamp bulb itself, has a little stud coming through. So uh, I'm just gonna line up the notch with the stud in the bulb and try to squeeze them together. Get that nice and latched in. Give it a little tug, feels good. We'll do the same to the other one. Find our notch, there it is, goes on the outside. Get this lined up, squeeze it up and in. There we are, cool. We got a couple push clips, we'll go ahead and get those pushed in real quick. As you can tell, this thing's kind of busted up under here. It's missing a whole bunch of parts. Yours may or may not have any of this, who knows. There we are. We'll go with the assumption that they're all going across here and it looks beautiful. Okay, great job everybody.
Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com, your place for DIY auto repairs, for great parts, great service, and more content.